Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new Blender tutorial. Today in this Blender tutorial we'll be learning how to make low poly flowers like these. Now you're probably wondering why on earth am I making flowers? It's pretty weird, and especially pink ones, I don't know. That's anyway, pink's a pretty cool color. Um anyway. <clears throat> so I was making um a cherry blossom tree and I searched up all these crazy images of cherry blossoms, cherry blossom paintings, etc. And I felt I thought it's so cool how they're like pink whitey flowers they only bloom for like a week so I decided to learn how to make these and I successfully made a tree which will be coming up um, you'll see that tree um, as a speed art coming out soon um, but anyway I thought it was really cool um, the outcome of my flowers so I decided to make a big batch of these flowers and make a tutorial out of them so let's get started so that's what the original render looked like and, um, color correction looks really cool I think anyway so I'm not going to show you how to make the the add materials is all yours I'll just show you how to model it um, and before I go into it um, Mm, the flowers, apart from this central flower here, are all just randomly placed using a particle system on a plane. And then I've added depth of field for it to be focusing on this one, and those are blurred. Anyway, let's get on to the tutorial. File new. Reload startup file. So, remember, as we start again, we always want to go um, in cycles render. And for this one, we're going to delete the default lamp. And cube. And we're just going to add a plane, just just because we always like adding a plane. Okay, actually we won't add a plane since we're just modeling. So the first thing we're going to do is model the leaves. Now to do this, we uh, yeah the petals, the petals. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is add a icosphere mesh icosphere, and we're going to flatten it by scaling it on the z axis like so. Looks quite cool. And a petal is very um, oval shaped to do this we're, and we're going to scale it on the x-axis by squishing it up like so. A bit too squishy like that. Now we want to make a dip in the middle to make it like curve in. So to do this we're going to select, we're going to go into edit mode, select this top vertice here hit proportional editing which is O on your keyboard or you can go down here click enable and we're going to have on smooth then we're going to hit G and scale up your uh, circle click and then we're going to pull down maybe a bit bigger There we go, around that size. A really cool looking dip. Like that. So the petal is looking really cool. Now I always gonna add a decimate modder to for my icospheres to make them look a bit more random. Something like 0 0.7 or 8. Looks quite good, maybe seven. Yeah, that looks better. Now, there's no specific way you want to um, do this. So basically, we want to go into top view, which is 7 on your numpad, and we're going to shift D to duplicate, rotate on the Z axis around that, pull across, rotate it so we get some sort of flower effect. Shift D to duplicate, and we're going to do the same thing for this. That's really cool. Now select all three. Shift D. Rotate. So G. There we go. So that's our flower basically created. Now petals sort of curve. Petals sort of curve up in an upward like dome shape. In an upward dome shape. So to mimic this effect, we're going to rotate this on the Y. Each petal 
on an axis that it corresponds to. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, our petals are now curving up. And now you can make the curve, the upward curve, as large or small as you like just by rotating them. Now that's really cool. Okay, the next step is the stem, the uh, pollen on the flower. So the pollen stem, I don't know how to say that. But anyway, let's just move this into the center. So now for the stem we'll go into front view orthographic mode and we're going to add a cylinder with eight vertices now scale this um so here s shift z scale it down on the z axis and pop it around there okay good so far now go into edit mode wireframe mode hit b on our keyboard and extrude that. Rotate it on the y axis. Select this middle node here and scale it. Okay, that's looking reasonably good. Go to the front view, and we're going to pull it up a bit. Scale shift Z, it's thinner. There we go. Now we're going to add a icosphere to be the actual pollen ball. And that's looking quite good. Now, select both, hit 7 to go into top view, and we're going to position these. So hit G, and we're going to get something like that. And rotate them accordingly. Okay, so they're looking okay. Not the best results, but that's the technique I used to uh, do them. Now select them all, and we're just going to go into front view, scale them down a bit, move them into the center of our plant. Somewhere like that. And they are looking pretty good. So, so far, so good. Now for the actual um, stem of our um, flower, if it's coming out of the ground. But you can use it as like a stem coming out of the branch, etc. So to do the stem, it's very similar to the stem of the pollen. Cylinder, scale, shift, Z. I enter edit mode, control R, loop cut and slide basically that is, and hit 5. Now, with proportional LT1, select the bottom one, scale it down, select this one, move it across, select that one again, we'll scale it down a bit more, select that one, scale it up up a bit select the bottom one again and pull it down it's a stem and we'll add a decimate modifier just to give it a low poly and that's looking quite good edit a bit more just here ok 
Okay, you can make your stem as interesting and intricate as you like, but I'm very happy with that. And that's my flower done. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I hope you have fun making your own flowers.